Hi there! Today, we will be going over one of the possible scenarios for Fortisor, Fortinet's security orchestration and automation response solution. Integrated into the Fortinet security fabric, Fortisor security orchestration, automation, and response remedies some of the biggest challenges facing cybersecurity teams today. This scenario will be looking at customers wanting to automate security for emails. In this scenario, we have a user, Bob, whom received a suspicious looking email. Instead of emailing Bob's security team, he can forward the suspicious email to a central mailbox where the email can be scanned for malicious contents. From the diagram, we see that once the email arrives at the central mailbox location, a playbook within Fortisor is triggered. Playbooks are in layman's term, a collection of logical steps that executes based to the parameters set. Once the playbook is triggered, we can see that Fortisor will fetch the email and pass the contents, in this case attachment, to various sources. We have configured this playbook to scan any incoming emails for malicious attachments and send those attachments to VirusTotal as well as Fortinet's sandboxing solution, FortiSandbox. If VirusTotal does not give a definitive result that the attachment is malicious. If FortiSandbox finds the attachment to be malicious, it can do things like delete the email and or notify the user. We will then store this malicious attachment into an S3 bucket for threat research later on. Let's get started. Logging into Fortisor, we can see that a playbook has already been created to scan for malicious attachments. The playbook offers an intuitive visual editor that resembles how a security analyst would traditionally look at this scenario. As you can see, the playbook follows an easy to understand logic. Security teams using Fortisor can trigger the playbook using various methods. In our case, we will first show activation via a manual trigger for when a security administrator choose to manually run the playbook, and then via an automated trigger. For example, when users send an email to be scanned. Let's go ahead and run the playbook. Verifying the playbook execution, we can see inside our mailbox two emails. The first is a generated malware example email we sent to be scanned, and the second email shows the result from that scan. Once the playbook has been executed, you can see that correlating information associated to this attachment has been created. Going into alerts, we can see an alert was created using the playbook and the result from the scan was entered automatically. Any correlating information like incidents and email records were also attached to the alert using the playbook. Now, let's go ahead and uh, look at the second scenario where we automate the process. Once we have sent the email to the security team to be scanned, you can see that Fortisor will see that email and activate the related playbook. Once it has finished scanning, Actions to either remediate or notify the user of the result will be sent out to the user as well as documented in Fortisor for any later audits or investigations. Instead of a SOC analyst having to go through this process manually, Fortisor helped Bob's security team streamline security processes by correlating information with one another and remediating threats from emails automatically. Hopefully, this was an informative video, and we look forward to seeing you again next time.